Hi, it's Bob Nagin here, and this is an Ask Bob question where people send me questions and I answer on video. And today's question came from Leanne Kirkley, and it comes on our Facebook page, and it says, Dear Bob, we've been in business for five years. Um, customer brings back an item with receipt for their money back. Our policy is store credit. It's posted and it's on the receipt. Uh, then they're not satisfied and they want to speak to the owner. I feel as though I need to stand with our policy as well as our employees for following the policy. I'm sure you have a thought. Leanne, yes, I have a thought. And I'm going to suggest that you change your policy. I'm really glad you asked this question because I see this mistake being made all the time. Here's how I would like you to think about returns. Here's how I would like you to think about any interaction with your customers. I'd like you to think that the money is not yours until the customer is happy. Let me say that again. The money is not yours until the customer is happy. If the customer wants a refund, the customer gets a refund. The customer wants an exchange, of course that's better. The customer gets an exchange. No matter what the customer wants, that's what they get, within reason, of course. But do you see what you've done is you've just, by, by doing that, you've lost a customer. When you don't satisfy your customers, they have a very real course of action, and that is to not come back. And so you want to make every interaction with your store as seamless as possible. You know, whatever they want. So here's how I would ask you when you have a uh, disgruntled customer. Here's how we always handle it. What would you like me to do? You see, when you solve a customer's problem to their satisfaction, they are more likely to become hyper-loyal customers. And so I want you to always remember this. The, light, the value of a transaction will 99.9 .9 times not exceed the value of the relationship. So you take that thing back, you put it on your shelves, you sell it again, and you live to sell that customer something else on another day. Lifetime value of a customer. You annoy that customer, you make that customer mad, you don't satisfy that customer, they take their business elsewhere. You have the money from the transaction, but you have lost a customer. And again, the value of the transaction does not exceed the value of the customer. This also holds true in situations where uh, you may feel that the customer is trying to take advantage of you, but the customer doesn't see it that way. A customer brings something in and it doesn't perform as expected. It's been used once or twice. They've voided the warranty and you're going, well, for crying out loud, you wore this backpack for a day. I'm not going to give you your money back. I don't know what you sell, but anyway. Uh, again, take it back, mark it down, Put it on the sales bin, hopefully get your uh, cost of goods out of it, and move on. Sell to that person another day. It's always about keeping that customer relationship alive, keeping that customer happy, keeping that customer coming back again and again and again. And Leanne, the policies as you have them written right now, ain't cutting it. So I hope that you'll consider changing it. And uh, thank you very, very much for the question. Anybody else have a question? Send it to askbob at whizbangtraining.com and I'll try my best to get to it. Take care now.